Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. In this video, you can downgrade your A9 and A9X devices to any version they ever supported using SHSH blobs. This will be an untethered downgrade, which means that you will be able to simply use your device as usual. If you restart, you can start it again without a computer. So it will be completely untethered. And yes, everything will work. Touch ID, passcode, installing apps. We will be using a third Smirula Linux. But first, we will have to get the EC ID of your device so that we can find the SH SH blobs. So as you can see, I have this iPhone SE, which is currently running iOS 15.8.4. Now to get the EC ID, simply open iTunes and connect this device to your computer via USB. Then under summary, simply hit the model number or the serial number multiple times until you see the EC ID. Right click, copy, and then simply you can paste it somewhere in a notepad to use later. The method shown in this video is completely free along with uh, this Marula. Now let's get to Linux to complete the downgrade. All right guys, so after getting the EC ID for our device, from iTunes, like I have the EC ID for my iPhone SE. You will need to get the Tardis Marula Linux file. You will get it from the link in the description or in the pinned comment. You will also need the SHSH blob for the version you want to downgrade to and its IPSW. Now let's first of all get the SHSH blob using the EC ID. Simply copy the EC ID and then go to the TSS saver dot one Conan, it is completely free and hit on retrieve, select hex from here and then paste the EC ID here, then hit submit, then hit open link and you will see all the saved SH SH blobs for your device. Please note, if you see 404 error means you did not save any SH SH blobs for your device. You cannot save them right now because they're saved when these specific versions are signed. So for example, I want to downgrade to iOS 11.2. I will select it, no app knowns, and you can see the blobs for my device right here. Now get one of the blob from here. Now for the IPSW, you can simply go to IPSW.me, select your device from here. So I have the iPhone SE. Under device information, you can see it matches my identifier and I have the board to config. Go to IPSWs, then scroll down and get the IPSW for the SH SH blob you have. So 11.2 and simply get the IPSW from here to your computer first. As you can see, I already got it, IPSW and the SH SH blob. To install those dependencies, you will have to run this command. You will get it from the written guide, from the link in the description or in the pinned command. You can easily copy it and then paste it here in the terminal and press enter. Type in your Linux password, press enter and wait for all the dependencies to be installed. Once it is complete, you can close off of this terminal. Now simply connect your device via USB, open a new terminal and then type sudo space systemctl space stop space usb max t. Press enter, type in your Linux password, press enter again. Now type command sudo space usb max t space hyphen p space hyphen f press enter if it is already running fine if not it will restart and your device will be detected don't worry you can leave it minimized now simply extract the turdus merula linux file extract here by simply right clicking you will see this folder open it then open a new terminal here type in sudo space chmod plus x give it a space drag and drop into the terminal first one is complete second one same command sudo space chmod plus x drag the second file in press enter and you are good to go you can run terrace mirror using this terminal also but for your ease to reduce confusion i will close it and open a new terminal all right now type sudo space dot slash rain underscore lib usb hyphen ed press enter type in your linux password and press enter now at this point get your device into dfu mode all right now my device is in pawn dfu mode now 
for A9 or A9X devices, you'll first have to get the SHC block file. To do so, type sudo space dot slash i device restore hyphen w hyphen hyphen get space shc block give it a space go back and drag the ipsw file for the version you want to downgrade to into the terminal press enter one press enter again type here yes and press enter and wait for this process to finish all right once the process finishes you will get the shc block dot bin file at the same folder over where you have extracted Tordus Marula. You can see this block folder. You will see this file. Your device will get into recovery mode. From there, get it into DFU mode. All right, now my device is in DFU mode. Now, before you use the second command, you will have to get the generator from the SHSH blob. So I will go back and open this blob using mouse pad or notepad, whatever the text editor is control F and search for generator all right you will see this string right here all right right click and copy the string or you can control C of course now close out of it bring up the terminal and from the same directory where you have extracted Turdus Marula run another command sudo space dot slash rain underscore lib USB hyphen E D and lowercase b right click and paste the generator you got from your shsh blob press enter my device was in dfu already so it worked or you will have to put your device into dfu first and then it will get it into pawn dfu mode all right now use the second command make sure you are in the turdus mirula folder you just extracted then type here sudo space dot slash i device restore hyphen w hyphen hyphen load hyphen sh sh give it a space go back and drag the sh sh blob here into the terminal then type hyphen hyphen load hyphen shc block give it a space open the turdus menu folder go to the block folder and then drag and drop the block file into the terminal then go back and then finally drag and drop the IPSW file for the firmware you want to downgrade to into the terminal and then finally press enter type 1 press enter let me make it a bit bigger so that you can see it this is the actual downgrade process so it can take some time now here type yes in capital make sure that you back up your data on your device because this step will erase all data then hit enter Sometimes what happens is with A9 devices or A9X devices, this process can fail with an error. Don't worry, repeat the process and it will work. All right, as you can see, the restore on the downgrade process finished without errors. Now, simply set your device as usual. All right, as you can see it right here, I have set my device up. It is back to iOS 11. It is properly activated no issues whatsoever let's see the version first of all settings general about and check out the version right here it is back to ios 11.2 yes touch id and everything works without issues you can check it out right here yes you can set a passcode without issues it works and yes you can install your apps via side loadly or any other tool and they verify just fine they work fine since it is untethered you can always restart your device like so and since it is untethered when you start it up you don't require a computer and it works fine without issues now you can install your appropriate jailbreak app according to your version and jailbreak it without issues that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself